Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very interesting question from algebra. x times x minus 4 times x minus 5 plus 1 over x equal to 9. As we can see, x is in the denominator. So immediately I can write our answer cannot be 0. Now I can multiply both sides by x first. As we can see, x is in the denominator. So let's multiply by x. I can write our equation x square times x minus 4 times x minus 5. x times 1 over x is 1. And RHS will be 9 times x, so 9x. Let's multiply these two brackets first. I will write x square x times x, x square minus 5x minus 4x, so I can write minus 9x. Minus 4 times minus 5 will give us plus 20. Then we have plus 1, RHS is 9x. Or I can write x power 4 minus 9x cube plus 20x square plus 1 equal to 9x. Let's write all the terms to LHS. We will write x power 4 minus 9x cube plus 20x square minus 9x plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see x cannot be 0. So I am free to divide this equation by any power of x. So I can divide here by x square. Here also x square as x is not equal to 0. So x power 4 over x square. I will write x square. Let me write here. I will write here x power 4 over x square. So I will write x square minus 9x cube over x square minus 9x. 20x square over x square I will write plus 20. Then minus 9x over x square I will write minus 9 over x. And last term was 1. 1 divided by x square. We will write 1 over x square. RHS will be 0 over x square will remain as 0. Now I will write first and last term all together. These two all together. So I can write x square plus 1 over x square. Then minus 9x minus 9 over x. Let's take minus 9 common. In the bracket we can write x plus 1 over x. Minus 9x minus 9 over x. Then we have plus 20 left. RHS will be 0. Now x plus 1 over x is here. And if I will consider a square, I will get this. So better is to consider x plus 1 over x equal to a. Now I will consider squaring both sides. Squaring both sides. We will get x square plus 1 over x square plus 2. 2 times x times 1 over x. x x will be cancelled out. Only 2 will be left there. Equal to a square. So from here I will calculate the value of x square plus 1 over x square will be equal to a square minus 2. So this value I will apply here. And x plus 1 over x is a so I can write our equation in variable a. Equation will be a square minus 2 minus 9 then x plus 1 over x a plus 20 equal to 0. Now we will simplify LHS minus 2 plus 20 is 18. So I can write a square minus 9a plus 18 
e equal to 0. Remember, a is our substitution, x plus 1 over x. Now, I can see the factors of 18 as 6 times 3. So, I can split our middle term. I will write a square, then I will write minus 3a, then I will write minus 6a. So, addition of these two will give us minus 9a. If I will multiply, I will get 18a square, which is right, plus 18 equal to 0. Now, from first two terms, we can take a common, a minus 3 will be in the bracket. And once I will take minus 6 common from last two, I will retain the same bracket here also. Now, a minus 3 is common out. We will get the second factor, a minus 6 equal to 0. Using product 0 rule, we can write either a minus 3 equal to 0 or a minus 6 equal to 0. So, from here I will write a equal to 3 and from second equation a will come out 6. So, we have two a values a equal to 3, a equal to 6. Now, a was x plus 1 over x. So, I can write x plus 1 over x equal to 3. Here also, x plus 1 over x equal to 6. So, we have to solve these two equations. Let me consider our first equation, x plus 1 over x equal to 3. Now, I will multiply both sides by x. So, I will write times x both sides. Now, x times x. We can write x square. x times 1 over x, 1. RHS is 3x. So, I can write x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. We can use quadratic formula this time. We can write formula x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our quadratic equation, I can write here a equal to 1 coefficient of x square b equal to negative 3 coefficient of x, c equal to plus 1 or 1 constant. So, we can evaluate the values of x from here. Minus b, so I will write minus of minus 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 1. Let's simplify. We will write 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square is plus 9 minus 4 over 2. Or I can write here our two real solutions. 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2. So we have two real values of x here. Now, we have to solve our second reciprocal equation. So, I will write here x plus 1 over x equal to 6. Let us multiply by x both sides. We will get x square plus 1 equal to 6x. Or we can write x square minus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. Again, we will apply quadratic formula. So, x will be equal to, if I will write once again, minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. As per our quadratic equation, we can write a will be 1, b will be minus 6 c equal to plus 1. Let us apply all the values. We will write here minus of minus 6 plus minus square root of minus 6 square 
minus 4 times 1 times 1 or 2 times 1. So I can get 6 plus minus a square root of minus 6 a square is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 over 2. So I can write here this will be equal to 6 plus minus a square root of 32. And if I will write factors of 32 then it would be 16 times 2. So we can write 6 plus minus 4 root 2 over 2. So I can write our solutions 3 plus minus 2 root 2. So again we have real solutions. So in total if I will say then there are 4 real values of x. 3 plus minus 2 root 2 and 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye bye till next video. Take care. Goodbye.